Welcome back everyone to this evening's edition of Lehigh Valley Sports Scene. Dan Freemuth with you here on the Service Electric Network. Well, high school football isn't the only sport that officially begins league play this week. The 2020 girls volleyball season is scheduled to get underway as well. Now for the reigning District 11 3A champs, the Southern Lehigh Spartans, non-league games tonight and tomorrow against Notre Dame and Saucon Valley respectively. That before league play officially commences Thursday against Catasauqua. Before they begin a new campaign though which won't have any spectators due to the 25 person limit for indoor sports the Spartans found a unique way for parents to see them play for what could be the only time this season Gwen Begley tells us how so here's something you may not see every day high school girls volleyball outside on a football field. Now there is a method to Southern Lehigh's madness due to the fact that there won't be any spectators allowed inside to see these girls play this season. They decided to take the game outside in order to celebrate the seniors. Hopefully, fingers crossed that things change a little bit and they'll get to come in and see. But I mean, this is a great opportunity. I'm thinking in the future we do a scrimmage, a blue white scrimmage. A lot of our other teams do it, but we don't do it. It's a nice way for the parents to get out. This year we can't socialize as much as we would like, but it's a nice, nice night. I mean, I think everyone's enjoying it. It's nice for the seniors and just nice to get the girls out playing. I'm really glad we were able to do it. I didn't know if we would get a senior night, so I mean, I'll I'll take anything and this is super fun, like just to like be outside with everybody and yeah, I'm really grateful for this. Brianna West, Natalie Painter, Brooke Adams and Angelisa Serrard were accompanied by their parents for this unique senior night, which was a chance for families to see the defending league and district champs play for what could be the only time this season. Honestly, it means a lot because you're only a senior once in high school and like for this, I'm not playing volleyball in college, so this is like one of the last, this could be like the last time people see me play, so I like it a lot, even like with the circum, under the circumstances, it's nice to even have them. It sucks that there can't be other people, but I'm really grateful that they can watch. The fact that we get to do this is still like really cool. Like we still get to have a senior night with our parents coming and watching, so that's super cool. I mean, I'm playing in college, so my parents can still see me then, but my dad has been like my supporter through the whole thing. So him being able to watch me this year at least once is really, it's a good feeling. Oh, it's, it's very emotional. I followed her whole career and, and I taught her to play the game and and uh, she's had a great career here at Southern Lehigh and we're so excited that we were able to have this event tonight. You know, thanks to the administration and Coach West for pulling this off. It's a strange event, but really the girls are having a great time. The parents are excited to see them play. And, you know, it was such a roller coaster with the season, whether or not we were going to get to play at all. So we're excited they're going to have a season, even though it's a little shorter than normal. Uh, but I, I just, I love seeing her in the blue and white. Reporting for the SE Network, I'm Gwen Begley. Have to love that creative, solutions-oriented thinking that's been on display by all of our area schools throughout the ongoing pandemic. Now, we did mention it's a busy week right out of the gate for Southern Lehigh. Home tonight against Notre Dame Green Pond at Saucon Valley on Tuesday before officially beginning league play Thursday against Catasauqua. Well, staying